Hello friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my bathroom. Um, it's supposed to be a It's supposed to be a very hot weekend. Um, it will be 34 and 36 degrees Celsius. So I will definitely be staying inside. And I thought, why not do some fun activities inside like film developing? Um, because a couple of days ago, I was editing my April vlog. And I noticed that there are some photos missing from a little photo shoot I had with my sister. And then I realized uh, I had the film sitting in my fridge, uh, waiting to be developed and scanned. So uh, that's what we will do be doing today. Um, I shot it on this uh, Formopan 200 film, so it will be no, no problem developing this like in normal Cafenol. Um, and then I have this Ilford uh, HP5 Plus, which is ISO 400. And um, for higher speed films like starting from 400 i think you will be needing um potassium bromide um during the development process and i actually bought it a couple of months ago but it will be the first time using it and i can't really remember what's on the film so that will be a surprise um yeah Without further ado, let's jump right into developing these, these two bad boys. So we have my very professional setup here. Um, I just put this um, board on my bathtub. <laughs> I will be using containers that I solely use for film development. Um, so yeah, don't put them back in the kitchen. Um, yeah, and we'll be using um, really cheap instant coffee. Um, soda, vitamin C, and for the um, HP5, we will be using potassium bromide. And I think I will be starting without this. I will do this um, second. We'll be starting with the um, from Pan 200 film, and I will be putting it uh, in my development tank, um, of course, in total darkness, so that you won't see. Um, yeah, see you in a minute. Okay, so we're back um, with the film inside the container. And yeah, let's mix the caffeinol mixture together. For half a liter of the developer, you will need 27 grams of washing soda, eight grams of vitamin C, 500 milliliters of water, and if your water is hard, I recommend using distilled water. And I recommend putting the water in your container first and dissolve ingredient by ingredient. I messed up a little here. And lastly, you need 20 grams of instant coffee. Get the cheapest one because that has more acid, but please also make sure to watch for fair trade and or organic labels if possible, as we don't want to contribute to unethical practices. Am I right? Stir the mixture until everything has dissolved completely, then fill your container with it. My container only takes about 350 milliliters, I think. So I have a bit of the developer left over. Mm -hmm. 
It's important to move your tank around every minute or so to make sure the Cafenol developer gets everywhere on the film. I like to hit the tank on my working surface after that as it gets rid of potential air bubbles. Many people follow the agitating very religiously, but I'm not a perfectionist at all and haven't had any issues with that ever. I let the film develop for about 13 minutes, I google to find out which developing times are suitable for which film and they always range between 10 to 15 minutes. Of course you can also experiment with the times. While the film is being processed in the tank, let's prepare the fixer. Ever since I had learned to develop black and white film, I have always used the 1 to 9 ratio for fixing my negatives. So we need 450 milliliters of water and 50 milliliters of fixer. I'm using Ilford's rapid fix here. You can also use the fixer multiple times afterwards, just make sure to adjust fixing times. Once the developing time is over, I pour the cathanol mixture back in its dedicated bowl, because I will reuse it for the second film. Then you want to rinse the film in the tank with water to stop the developing process. When the water comes out clear out of the tank, you're ready for the next step. Next step is fixing the film and I always fix for 4 minutes. I think you don't need to agitate the film in this step, but I like to do it from time to time. When the 4 minutes are over, I also pour the fixing solution back in its dedicated container to reuse it later. Then in the next step, we will rinse the film on the running water for about 4-5 to five minutes. I know this step is wasting a lot of water and I will definitely research if that can be changed. The last step is preparing a small bowl of water with a few drops of detergent to reduce water spotting. Then open your tank and put the spool into the bowl. Open the spool and nervously look at your film if there's anything on it. <laughs> I swear I still panic even though I learned film developing almost 10 years ago. Afterwards I'm hanging the film in a very professional setup for my shower curtain rod to dry. Make sure to put a weight at the bottom of the film so it hangs straight down. Now let's develop the Ilford HP5. I'm reusing the caffeinol mixture and add about 0.5 to 1 gram of potassium bromide. My scale is not very precise unfortunately, so I'm kinda eyeballing it. As I said, I'm not a perfectionist.
With your film in the tank, pour in the mixture and develop for 15 minutes this time. Make sure to agitate every minute or so. Then rinse and fix your film as before, then rinse again and put the spool in the bowl with the detergent and water again. Then hang up to dry. After the films have dried, I scan them with my Epson V550 flatbed scanner using Silverfast. And here are the results. I hope you liked this video, let me know if you want to see more videos like this or if you have any recommendations etc. Have you ever developed your black and white film in Kefano? Thank you so much for watching, see you in my next video, take care and goodbye.